Yes, yeah, so, so welcome to Vasily's garden, folks. Welcome to my garden. Stinking hot, 38 degree northerly winds. Yuck. And I was out here earlier, it's morning now, so we normally film after lunch, mid-afternoon, but I came out here earlier uh, to water the garden and I thought we'd touch base on our CGWS because a lot of you who haven't used it are still asking how does it work or how does it work and what does it look like once you spray it on your tree. Well, this is one we did a couple of weeks ago that we sprayed. That's got the white film on it, so that's got CGWS all over it and I'll discuss how it works. And let me show you this one that hasn't. This one hasn't got it, so you can see the vibrant green leaves on that there. And it's still quite healthy. They've all been watered, so they're holding there nice and green. Now CGWS is used predominantly to control heat stress on the trees, citrus trees, because once it gets over 35 like today, they don't actually become active. They, the sap flow reduces and it stunts the tree's ability to grow bigger and, and throughout the whole year. So we spray it for the heat stress and normally it happens to, you know, people use it in regions where it's quite warm all throughout the year. Uh, down in South Victoria or in Victoria predominantly, it's not as hot long enough to be worried about that, but it's other purpose is to control citrus gall wasp. Now they're the lumps that appear on the tree, uh, caused by a wasp that lays its egg just underneath the bark surface and the larvae penetrate inside, nest in there and causes the swelling to occur on the branch. So this is what it looks like and by spraying it on there, it actually stops it. This is, this is what we call the shield, the barrier shield. It's like armour for the tree to stop the insect penetrating through. Now how often do you spray it? Well, once it wears off, you can reapply it. So this has still got the white sheen on it and it's not so much the leaves that you need to worry about for the citrus gall wasp, but it is the leaves you need to worry about for the heat. So Spraying the whole tree gives you two protection uh, factors. One heat stress and one citrus gall wasp. So when you get it on the bark or the branch like that, the insect comes along, goes to lay its egg on it, and once, as soon as it lands on the bark, the powder itself is so fine. See, it's on my fingers. It's quite safe. It's a clay-based powder, folks, but it's super refined. It's so fine that it sticks itself to the insect's body, suffocating it. And therefore, the insect spends the rest of its living life, which is very short-lived after that, trying to clean itself rather than laying its egg so it doesn't penetrate through. That's citrus gall wasp. And another quick one, let's go and check out my lemon tree that I pruned back a few weeks ago to see how it's progressing. It's taken off like wildfire. Have a look at this. These are the old leaves in here, see that? You can see the old leaves, the dark green ones. These new ones are a little bit yellow and veiny, so this needs a little bit more magnesium. I might use a little bit of eco butch on this, just to green it up, because that will bring the green right back into it. But again, folks, I cut this back about four or six weeks ago, something like that, and it's just taken off. You can see the trees will respond quite well. I did top dress it with our planting mix. That's what we got on top of that, and it helps absorb the moisture really well. So the life is in here. This gets a little bit more shade here where it's positioned by comparison to the other ones over there. They get a lot of sun, so it's not as stressed. And all it needs now is a little bit of EK Butch and it's gonna green up lusciously green the way we want it. Folks, we're closing down. That's right, our Coburg store is closing down. Fast coming around. By the end of the month, we should be closed. Get online uh, for Click and Collect if you want to buy anything from Coburg. That's if you can get out there or pop down into the garden centre because if you're watching this as we've just uploaded it online, I'll be on 3AW Radio talking gardening with Darren James and from there I'll be at the garden centre as well helping uh, the team there with the staff uh, with all the products and the customers coming in there. So pop down, get yourself a bargain, ask your questions that you need for me to help you with your gardening and enjoy some great products at discounted prices. It's all at VasiliesGarden.com from me, Vasilis. Silly, Maresi.